in the concrete canyons of this city. There's a vanishing breed of craftsmen that still risk their lives each day to bring a message to the millions of New Yorkers on the streets below. These billboard cowboys face constant danger as they create their art, hanging hundreds of feet in the air. These hardy souls are called Wall Dogs. When you work with people in situations like this where it's very dangerous, very, very hard work, I mean, heavy equipment, standing on parapet walls 60 feet in the air, taking scaffolds up hundreds of feet in the air, you form a bond. It's a brotherhood. Whoa, wait, 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 what the hell? What the hell are you guys doing? All right. Working with these guys, it takes a certain amount of finesse and uh, a bit of diplomacy too. Hey assholes, listen up. I just got a phone call from Joe. They're moving this thing up till Thursday. So get your man pants on, all right? And let's bang this thing out! Man, you gotta be kidding, kidding me. The guys that I work with, I trust with my life. Heads up! Oh, shit! What the hell are you doing? Sorry, sorry. I drop something off the rig every time. It's a brush. Yeah. Occasionally paint, usually not, but I'll, I'll, I'll drop up, a brush. Even. I'm a klutz. Why is it like I my like whole life is always surrounded by derelicts? Because you must attract them. Why is it? You get a magnet. Derelict magnet. Just get up there and do the damn job so we can get the hell out of here. That's it. That's always your answer. When I'm right, just shut up. I'm gonna have to dress him on in his belt every day. Because I don't know if he's putting on weight, but he couldn't get it on. You better watch, make sure that's tight, or else you're gonna rip yeah, your nuts. I know, I know. I got balls of steel. <laughs> but he won't let me touch him because he thinks, you know, I'm going to grab his ass or something. <laughs> We're all dysfunctional. I, we all have something wrong with us, or we wouldn't do this job. Well, let me tell you what it's like working with my dad. He's, uh, he's a lot to handle. He's a pain in the ass, and it's pretty much all I can say about him. I don't want to get myself in trouble. Brad, very nice guy, I have to tell you, but he's a prima donna. And Mike is a great worker. He's also a lunatic. I trust him when he's putting together a rig. I don't know if I would trust him next to me on a rig. He's, it's just, there's something off there. I don't care what the rest of the crew thinks about me! What we do is we work together, we get the job done. He's going in reverse, look at him! I have no idea how we're gonna finish this shit on time. 